don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm... I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in Saint Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. We can't talk if 
you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. Now worry, a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Hold up a moment. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. looking for English mace okay let's continue on son once years ago don't talk about it much you're going the wrong way no what was his name Isaac his mother Eliza the waitress I met when she got pregnant she, she knew who I was what my life was I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep but I said I'd do right by them Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered $10. Hardened me. Feeling that. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. This will combine well. There, I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Now, I was saying, harden me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. And that feller, Monroe, how you know him? 
Captain Monroe was reassigned here from a regiment in the north. Apparently, the news of our conflict has spread all the way to Washington. He's a good man. He wants to help. Well, I guess that's something, at least. The army aren't all bad men. Just as my people aren't all good. But this Colonel favors. He walks an old line. He's obstinate, and he hates Monroe. I just hope between us we can work this out. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They've destroyed everything! I need to find the Chinupa. Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Tanupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. reason would they have? Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. I see no end to any of this. Over here! An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. There's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Favors men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? 
Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but... Actions don't always go the way you plan. Are you not going down there? Monroe. I heard old Favors was trying to get him transferred. I don't like him much. He always seemed like a decent enough fellow to me. Exactly. That's the problem. Monroe went to West Point. Favors never made it. Yeah. I'm sure. Engines. Just seems so silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? My uncle married an Indian anyway. She seemed nice enough. An Indian? Sure looked like one. I'm up near the Canadian border someplace. Huh? What's that? Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? 
No one was killed. Well done. Well done. I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. <laughs> 